Here are three ways to research a stock as a beginner. Write this down. The first way is go to the NASDAQ website. About 20% of my investments are in dividend paying stocks and REITs, and these investments give me a consistent passive income every month, but before I buy any stock, I go to the NASDAQ website. When you go to the NASDAQ website, type in the dividend company, and you'll be able to see everything you need about your passive income. You can see things like how much the company pays in dividends, which is the cash flow you'll get for every share you buy. You'll see how often the company pays their shareholders, which is usually every 30 to 90 days. You'll also see their track record. You always want to see consistent growth in what they pay their investors every year. And you'll see the key dates that'll tell you when you can get paid. Things like the record date and the payment date. Now the second way I research is by going to the company's investor relations website. I love going to these sites. You can simply head over to Google, type in a company's name and investor relations and a site will pop up. This is the main hub where all investors go to get information about the company they want to own or the companies they own. And then finally, just visit dividend.com. This site gives you different tools, news, updates, resources about dividend investments. Now save this video so that you can come back to this just in case you need. But if the goal is to build consistent income, to not have to just build a business, but instead be part owner of a business, collect passive income from a business without having a ton of money to start with, you can consider investing in dividend paying investments, especially if the goal is to create consistent, reliable passive income. To learn more about dividend investing and how you can build a passive income as an investor, right now go to this website and register for my free beginner class. It's completely free, but it is a step-by-step -step class that will show you how to build a passive income portfolio as a beginner in the stock market.